shared battery configuration. This video covers the physical installation and configuration steps for shared battery installations using the Savant Power Storage 20 system. For more information, please contact Savant Support. This video applies to models listed on screen. Physical install. Certain system designs may benefit from two inverters sharing a single battery. This configuration provides increased pass-through of utility power to the home while maintaining a modest storage capacity and system budget. Other benefits include increased DC-coupled solar support as well as expanded storage capacity in the future. For each unit of two inverters to one battery, one PS inverter will be directly connected to the battery as normal, referred to as the leader inverter moving forward. A second inverter is daisy-chained into the leader, which we'll refer to as the follower inverter. Next, you'll have to make connections to the reference port and the battery plus and minus ports. Please note that these are customer provided cables. Using the included cables, wire the battery inputs into the DC terminals of the leader. Connect the KN port of the battery and BCMS of the leader inverter using the Ethernet cables included in the PS20 package kit. Then, use the included wiring adapter and standard cable to wire the leader to the follower. Wire DC coupled solar to each unit independently. It is recommended to balance solar input across the units of two inverters used in a parallel configuration for optimal performance. AC-coupled solar inverters can be wired directly to individual power storage inverters to help balance overall power flow through the system. They can also be combined at a single point and shared equally between all PS20 inverters in the system. Combine the load output of all units at a single location before landing in the backed up loads panel. Connect CAT5 or CAT6 cable between the external RJ45 ports marked parallel between each inverter in the system. Note, external parallel ports are equivalent and can be used interchangeably. Install the included RJ45 KN bus terminator in the unused RJ45 port of the first and last inverter of the parallel install. Make sure to tighten the cover to the RJ45 where resistors are installed. Wire all optional accessories like a generator auto start, e-stop button, etc. to the leader of each parallel installation. See more about accessories in the installation manual. Use a network switch to wire the power director to each unit in the parallel system. Alternatively, a wireless connection can be utilized where a wired connection is not available. System Startup and Programming The Savant Power Storage 20 system is commissioned using the Savant Power Storage app. Refer to the install manual for guidance downloading this app. The shared battery configuration should be programmed as follows to avoid any issues with deployment. Perform appropriate safety checks laid out in the manual before proceeding. Ensure the inverter, grid, and PV switch are in the off position and load breakers are off or no load is present on the PS20. Power on the battery system between shared inverters by switching the battery's power switch to on and pressing the start button. Note, do not press the on button of the inverter at this stage, as it can lead to issues with the commissioning process. Wait for the BMS LED to display solid green. This could take up to three minutes while each battery module boots up. Turn each power storage inverter on by pressing the silver on button on the side of the inverter. Verify home loads are powered without issue Turn the grid switch to the on position. Wait about 100 seconds and confirm the grid LED turns green and verify in the app that the grid is supplying power. Next, navigate to the SPS app. Under the parallel control menu, set the inverter control mode as primary and assign an address of one to the primary inverter. Input the total number of inverters under the total quantity setting. Enable the shared battery mode setting. Note. If you do not see the shared battery mode option, please be sure your app is updated to 3.0.2 or higher. 
use address 2 and secondary control for the follower inverter. For systems with more than two inverters, use this chart to correctly address each inverter. Ensure that each leader inverter, which connect directly to a battery, uses odd numbers for its address in each pairing. Ensure the front panel of the inverter does not have any red LEDs, which would indicate an error. Note, the run LED will be blinking yellow since the solar has not been configured yet. This is expected at this time. Thanks for watching.